Hey, MJ. Welcome back to BNN and Channel 9 News. I'm Darius. And I'm Jayla. Today is March 7th, National Cereal Day. Hope you guys celebrate by having a good old bowl of cereal this morning for breakfast. Now let's see what the weather is like with Sabrina. Hey, MJ. It's Sabrina here with your weather. This week will be warmer than it's been lately with highs in the upper 60s and low 70s. It will be cloudy all week and thunderstorms are in the forecast for Friday and Saturday. Spring weather is here for most of the country. Record-breaking warmth is occurring and will continue for the central and eventually the eastern U.S. I'm Sabrina, and that was your weather update. Back to you guys. Thanks, Sabrina. There will be a senior meeting during fifth lunch today. Any seniors that have fifth lunch need to eat during fourth lunch. After school review sessions for AP Physics 1 will begin this week and will be every Tuesday and Wednesday leading up to the exam. Now let's go to Brent for our game day news. Hey, MJ. Brent here with your sports news. Guess what, you guys? Today is game day, a big game day at that. Tonight we'll make our way to Hillsboro and take on the Burroughs in the big sub-state game. Our Bears will need a lot of support and Hillsboro is only like 35 minutes away. So come on out and support. The game will start at seven o'clock tonight. Good luck Bears, I'm Bryn and that was your sports news. Have a great day MJ. Thanks Bryn. Seniors, your graduation fee of $75 is due by March 11th. The fee will increase to $85 after then. Bring the money to Miss Teresa Hill in B126. Chemistry 1 tutoring will be held on Tuesdays and Thursdays in C126 and C128 from 315 to 4 o'clock. Now let's see what's trending with Brady. Hey MJ, it's Brady with your trending news. The Democratic debate is hot on everybody's mind right now, with Hillary and Bernie facing off once again in the booming area of Flint, Michigan. With Anderson Cooper being the mediator, the fight was long and drudging. Although Hillary copied every idea that Bernie had said, the majority of the watchers on CNN agreed that Bernie had outspoken her. If you would like more information on the subject for you aspiring presidents, I recommend John Oliver for more media insight. Now, in the scientific community, Bill Nye the Science Guy is about to send a solar sail into space. He is the CEO of the Planetary Society, and their goal is to advance the human race and focus on space exploration. The main goal of this project is to go into the outer reaches of space by using photons that are shot out of the sun or other sun-like stars. The solar sail will also monitor solar weather. The sun will shoot out massive amounts of rolling hot gases that can be 300 times the size of Earth, traveling at thousands of miles per hour. They can damage our satellites in space and space assets, as in your phone satellites that allow mass communication throughout the world and ourselves. This will be a major breakthrough in space information when it is launched in the fall. And that was your trending news. Peace out, y'all. Thanks, Brady. All notes for early dismissal must be in the main office by 8.15 each morning. And now Remy has some community news for us. Hi, MJ. I'm Remy, and I'm here with your community update. Lego is the teaching tool in Amanda Scalafiletti's classroom at Hattie Cotton Elementary School. It may look like students are playing, but they're actually discovering. Jaden Gibson, a seven-year-old, discovered how a crane works using the principles of a big new word. The big word being engineering. Sky Folletti's said they played with them many years ago or their kids have a lot to to. I'm Remy, and that was your community news. Thanks, Remy. Students must have their IDs with them at all times. Free after school math tutoring is available on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 315 to 415 in room C145. Thank you for watching WBNN, I'm Jayla. And I'm Darius, and here at BNN Channel 9 News, we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, have a, a great, great day, day MJ. MJ.